From their own 25, slant, and it's intercepted. Intercepted to the near side, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Kansas City. Why not add a pick six? That was part of a big win over the Bengals back in 2018. We, of course, have some recent history against these guys that wasn't as positive, but the Chiefs will look to put that all in the past on Sunday as they aim to maintain the top record in the AFC. Hey everyone, and welcome into our game preview this week presented by Crown Royal. My name is Matt McMullen, and this week we're joined by Tracy Wolfson from CBS Sports. She'll be on the sideline for Sunday's game. Tracy, how's it going? It's going great. I can't wait. It's gonna be a fun one. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun and really appreciate your time. And I want to start with this Bengals offense and Joe Burrow because they've really bounced back from a slow start this season to be once again one of the better offenses in the NFL. It's the number five scoring offense in the NFL right now. How can the Chiefs defense slow down Burrow and this Bengals offense on Sunday? Yeah, it does seem like the Cincinnati team is clicking at the right time, kind of like they did last year. And I think it was about Burrow getting more comfortable after the appendectomy being out there. The offensive line certainly has, looks like they've been gelling way more consistent. Um, and, you're, and they're getting Jamar Chase back this week, which is always a problem for um, any defense. So we actually had a chance to speak with Steve Spagnuolo um, just the other day. And he basically said there are like five keys that he talked about and he put up on a board for his players. And, and a few of those are, you got to play fast. It's one of the things that the Chiefs did in the offseason was they got faster on defense. You got to utilize that those guys and you have to be faster than their 11 guys. The other thing was the yards after catch. They're going to get their catches, but tackling and keeping them from getting those yak yards after catch is going to be crucial. We all know, you know, you have to try and you know, get a turnover here or there. But the other big thing is stopping Joe Burrow on those third down runs. I mean, he's a big guy. You kind of could equate him to Josh Allen when he takes off in terms of tackling him. But he noticed in games previously to Cincinnati, that's really where they convert on those third downs or when Joe Burrow takes off. So um, containing him uh, there is going to be a crucial part of this game. Yeah, Burrow has been very good lately. He's actually tied with Patrick Mahomes since week six in touchdown passes. Both of them have 14 touchdown passes. And I don't think I gave him enough credit last year about what he can do with his legs, but obviously hurt the Chiefs with his legs on some third downs. And we saw it last week against the Titans as well. So uh, Burrow is a challenge. You mentioned it though, this Chiefs defense has a lot of new faces this year. And I think their personnel may be better equipped uh, to stop the Bengals this time around with all the speed and athleticism they have at all three levels. So. Uh, it's a big test for this young Chiefs defense, and hopefully they can pass it. Now, I mentioned Cincinnati is the number five scoring offense in the NFL right now. The number one scoring offense is still the Chiefs. Uh, some red zone issues last week, but they still moved the football. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is, of course, at the core of all this offensive success this year. He's uh, probably the MVP of the NFL right now, leading the league in passing touchdowns and passing yards. Uh, what are your expectations for Mahomes and the Chiefs offense against Cincinnati on Sunday? Well, you know they're going to be fueled because, I mean, this was the talk in all the offseason. It started right after the game. They all took accountability for the loss. And even Andy Reid before the season, when we covered the Chiefs in week one, he said and he truly believed that game, you know, was, was his fault. Everyone else stood up, though, whether it was Chris Jones and Nick Bolton. Andy Reid himself said the play calling could have been different. But what you've seen from this team is they win no matter who they have out there. And, you know, you take Tyreek Hill out, doesn't matter. They've got all guys, all hands on deck, and that's how they're winning, whether they're spreading the ball around to nine different pass catchers. What I also love is the utilization of the backs. I've said that to you several times. When their run game is going, they are really difficult to beat. And I think they are, we're seeing that more and more. You got to see that as it goes on into the later months of the season. And whether it's McKinnon out there, whether it's Pacheco, who I got to tell you that Matt Patrick Mahomes said, when he runs, you can feel the earth shake. That's how hard he runs. And so they've got something there as well. Um, and then certainly they just bring on Melvin Gordon. I don't think we'll see him up this week, but, and then Ronald Jones shows up last week, right? So, I mean, they have a good core there. If they can be a little bit more balanced. Um, and I think what Patrick Mahomes has learned is the patience and the fundamentals. And he said in that game against Cincinnati, he got away from those fundamentals at the end and he's got to pull himself back 
regroup and play smart. And I think we're going to see that against the Bengals this week. Yeah, when you lose a game like the Chiefs did in the AFC title game, it's obviously devastating, but how do you respond to it? Do you point fingers and hang your head or do you learn from it? I think it's pretty obvious at this point the Chiefs took that as a learning experience and they're nine and two at this point in the season uh, because of the lessons they learned uh, in that Bengals loss. Uh, this isn't a playoff game, it's only week 13, but I know a lot of Chiefs fans have had this game circled for a long time. Hopefully that anticipation is rewarded with a victory on Sunday. Tracy, awesome stuff. Really appreciate your time. Thanks for having me.